Okay, uh, I have some of the guys calling in. They say, hey, this bit doesn't cut porcelain tile. Yes, it does. It does cut, and that's how it looks when it's cut. And this is sintered diamond. That's how it's going to look. Now, you got to run it on a water injection machine. Variable speed. You can adjust the speed. It's got a water line. See how it hooks up to the hose? Right? Okay, and that's the key. Now, I can go ahead, I can turn it on, I can give myself a little water coming out of here. Right? Just a little, you only need a little bit. And that'll push the water past the tip so it keeps the bit nice and cool. Now, that was pretty darn quick, okay? Considering this is an extremely hard porcelain tile. A really hard Marazzi. Super, super, super hard, and it's actually a little thicker than normal. So, and you can see I punched a few holes before, before I brought you guys on board just to use the bit a little bit. So, yeah, if you're, if you're trying to run this dry on just a regular grinder running at 13,000 RPMs, it's just gonna heat up. If you were to turn a light off, if you did it in the dark, it would glow bright orange. And literally I've seen guys where they melt and they twist them and then they come to us and they go, oh, it's no good. It's good. You gotta be running it the right way. Now, if you wanna try running like a, uh, what they call an electroplated, uh, I forgot what we call them. We, we carry the electroplated. Uh, I think we call them the bullet bits. And uh, those you can run dry like that, but you can use maybe a water trigger bottle, spray it on, run it a little, run it a little. But as far as the right stuff, this is the right stuff. And uh, it'll last a long time. It's what the uh, fabrication shops use. Okay, so thank you so much.